first step is we're going to put this into the augmented matrix form. So 1, negative 1, 1, 3, 2, negative 2, 1, 7, 1, negative 2, 3, 3. Okay, so we're going to get this, try to get this to be a leading one, first off, by clearing the column here. So, row 1 is going to stay the same, going into the next step, and I'm going to go ahead and write that out. And then these two rows is going to change by adding into the multiple of row 1. So we're going to manipulate row 1. To get rid of a 2, we're going to multiply row 1 by negative 2. So I have negative 2 times row 1. And I write that right next to row 2 here. So that's going to be negative 2, positive 2, negative 2, and negative 6. So now I add side by side. 2 and negative 2 is 0, negative 2 and 2 is 0, 1 and negative 2 is negative 1, 7 and negative 6 is 1. And for row 3, I'll do the same, using negative 1 times row 1 to get rid of this 1 here. So negative row 1 is negative 1, 1, negative 1, and negative 3. Now I just add 1 and negative 1 is 0, negative 2 and 1 is negative 1, 3 and negative 1 is 2, and 3 and negative 3 is 0. Okay, so now I'm going to try to get this to a 1. This is already a 0 here, and we never want to change a 0 back to some number. So instead of adding something to row 2 to make this a 1, I'm just going to simply switch row 2 and row 3 for the next step. So this step, I'm going to switch row 2 and row 3. And that will be a step in itself, and we're going to do just that. So now this second row will be row 3, which 0, negative 1, 2, 0, and the row 3 will be 0, 0, negative 1, 1. So now I want, I need this to be a 1. It's a negative 1 right now. So I'm going to, I'm going to make that a 1 by multiplying the whole, whole row by negative 1. And that will be a step in itself. When you multiply a row by a constant, you have to do that, make a new matrix for it. So, so 0, 1, and negative 2 and 0 for, ne for the new row 2. And the other two row is to just going to stay the same. So now I need this to be a leading 1. And so I'm going to clear the column. And I'm going to go ahead and rewrite row 2. 0, 1, negative 2, 0. And I'm going to try to clear out this negative 1 from row 1. And I'm going to do that by manipulating row 2 by adding a row 2 to row 1. So row 2 simply just... 0, 1, negative 2, and 0. Now I add them. So 1 and 0 is 1. Negative 1 and 1 is 0. 1 and negative 2 is negative 1. And 3 and 0 is 3. For row 3, it's already 0, so I'm just going to not do anything to it. Here in the same way, this is not a 1 yet is a negative 1, so I'm going to multiply row 3 by negative 1. And that will get me to 0, 0, 1, negative 1 for row 3. And row 1 and row 2 will stay the same for this step. And 
now, finally. Oh, this is, these are two zeros here, it's not an eight. Um, <laughs> okay, so for the final step, I need this to be a leading one, and I need to clear this column. So, I, I, row three will stay the same, because that's the row I'm manipulating, and the row I'm getting a leading one for. So, I'm going to take row 3 times 1 to get rid of this negative 1 in row 1 here. So, and again, make sure you're still multiplying side by side. So, this is 0, 0, 1, negative 1. Now, I add side by side. So, 1, 0, 0, and 2. And for this negative two, I'm gonna take row two. I'm gonna take row three multiplied by negative by positive two. So zero, zero, two, negative two. And again add side by side. Zero, one, negative two, two, zero, zero, negative two, negative two. And here we have our answer. X equals two, y equals negative two, and z equals negative one.